wayward gardening. It is Memorial Day weekend, which is the huge planting weekend for us here at Greywood, where we plant out the last of everything that we started in the seed starting layer and everything that we picked up from the garden center. Uh, it's going to be exceptionally tight this year because it was raining yesterday and it's going to be raining tomorrow. So we have one day to try to plant out everything in the veggie garden, in the cottage garden, in the front porch garden. And we haven't even, for example, weeded the berry bed yet, which is where our blueberries are going to get planted. So I do think it's a little bit more work than we're going to fit into one day um, when you add some small children into the mix, but we're going to get as far as we possibly can. And we do have Grandma and Grandpa Graywood coming over to help this year. So well, let's get cracking and see how much we can get done. I'm actually starting with weeding here only because no one else is out yet and this area is in the shade and won't be in the shade for long although it's supposed to get cloudy this afternoon so this is going to be the blueberry bed I have been working for two years now to lower the pH one of the most important things of growing blueberries is you need it they really want a pH of like 4.5 our soil is dead neutral at seven. I have managed to get the pH down below five, but then a few months later, it comes back up. Uh, I haven't tested it yet this year, but it always comes back up to like 6.8 or something. So I have decided we're not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna plant the blueberries and I have a, a number of tactics to keep healthy blueberries with a low enough pH, despite the fact that I can't lower the pH of this bed. All right, this is Little Greywood's garden. And what the heck is this thing? Delphinium. A delphinium. This delphinium that she planted last year is doing, is, is the, I think this is the best looking delphinium I've ever seen. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like this year. But you're planting something special, aren't you? Yes. Can you show me what you're planting? And what is this? The glow in the dark plant. That's right. This is high. All right, we have the littlest gray wood. All right, the, gl I the glow in the dark plant. So this is a petunia whose leaves are supposed to glow in the dark. Uh, it has been genetically engineered with uh, mushroom genes, so it will bioluminesce, supposedly. And uh, Little Greywood really, really wanted this for her garden. So can you tell me where you're going to put it? I want it right here. Okay, right here? Yeah. Alright, do you have a shovel? Let me get this out of the pot for you. There you go. Alright, so we're going to let this petunia get established and grow for a little bit. And then we'll come out after dark and see if we can see this one glowing in the dark. For the first time, I am attempting to grow celery. Uh, I managed to start some really healthy seedlings here. Um, the tricky thing, as I understand it, about celery is celery wants very moist soil all of the time. And so the celery is not going to be happy with the standard watering schedule of the entire garden. And instead, I'm gonna to have to come in and just spot water the celery pretty regularly in the middle of summer. The bright side, as I understand it, of uh, growing your own celery is as the celery grows, you just pick the stalks off the outside and then it just keeps growing and keeps growing. So unlike the celery you buy at the store where you get the entire plant all at once, celery that you grew in the garden is more of like a cut and come again. So we should, with a handful of celery plants, if I can keep them uh, moist enough to keep them happy, oh, thank you, uh, we should have a limitless supply of celery for the year. Do you want to plant some? Yeah. All right, this one is going to go right here, okay?
I think we are done for the day. It's about time for us to head in and start working on dinner. Uh, as predicted, we did not finish, actually we didn't finish the veggie garden or the cottage garden, but we got really close to being done on both. Uh, in the veggie garden, we didn't get the blueberries planted, although I did get the berry bed weeded. But everything else in all of the beds, in all the raised beds, is planted. The cottage garden we almost finished. I think the only thing we have left to do is a little bit more weeding and putting in a sweet alyssum border here in the front. Otherwise, all the plants are in. Uh, the latest forecast says that it looks like we might have a window tomorrow with no rain after all. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get out tomorrow, um, finish off the veggie garden, finish off the cottage garden, and maybe even do the front porch garden as well. All right, here's hoping. It's the next day, and the good news is the forecast said no rain this morning. The bad news is it's raining. So I think we're going to try to get a little bit done anyway. We're so close to being done with the cottage garden. I think we're going to clean up the front porch garden and see what we can get done there. Uh, for the cottage garden, what we need to do is get the border of sweet alyssum in. This is the alyssum that I started inside. And I think what I'm going to do is try to pop these guys out of the tray while I'm under cover of the porch. And then everything is ready to plant when we get outside. a break in the rain. The rain is supposed to be coming back, although at 8 a.m. this morning it said there would be no rain, so who knows what is going to happen. But uh, I got all the alyssum plant in the border. I have a ton of alyssum left over. This was on purpose. I want to get a bunch of these here in the veggie garden, specifically in the tomato bed. I really like the idea of using the alyssum as like a living ground cover. So I think I'm going to get some alyssum in here, and then we have the, the cut flower bed in the veggie garden, and I'm going to put some alyssum in there. If there's more left over, I'll just find corners to stick it in. All right, it is getting dark, but has all the alyssum planted. So that's a ton of alyssum planted under the tomatoes. Hopefully that gives us just a carpet of alyssum covering the bare ground under and between the tomato plants. And then a little low growth here. We have a mandevilla here in this obelisk that's gonna grow up and hopefully give us some like really cool tropical, uh, big tropical red flowers with some height. Uh, this right here is star flower, which is for a cut and dried flower. Over here is straw flower, which is also to be a dried flower. I actually ended up with a little bit of extra space that I didn't start anything for, so I might go back to the garden center and just find something pretty to put in there. updated the forecast to say that it would in fact end up raining all day. So of course, it stopped raining and in fact is starting to dry out. Uh, the good news is we got the entire porch garden done here. Mrs. Greywood pulled out all of the Asiatic lilies that were in here and planted more oriental lilies. Uh, the main difference being the Asiatic lilies bloom a little earlier, but the oriental lilies have a fragrance, an amazing one. The whole place smells great. We put in a row of gladiola uh, in the back and uh, Mrs. Greywood put in her dahlias and some new dahlia tubers. So those 
probably aren't going to bloom till maybe the second half of August, but they should be pretty amazing. We got the moss rose and a nice fresh coating of wood chips over the whole thing. It looks great. Uh, we finished the cottage garden. I put in the border of sweet alyssum as well as a couple extra ferns. So we got a lot done, a uh, little bit in the rain, but mostly no rain. Um, and the only thing we really didn't get to in the veggie garden is the blueberries. And I think at this point we're calling it a day and we will just try to find another time to squeeze the blueberries in and who knows, tomorrow is Memorial Day, it's supposed to rain, which means maybe it won't. And if it doesn't, maybe I'll get the blueberries planted. But if not, I will see you next time. Happy gardening.